You're finally up, darling. I'm so glad that you rested well on our way here. You've made things so much easier. Well, regarding our location, our bearings, I couldn't have you knowing these things. I wanted to make extra sure that we would be spending the rest of eternity here without any interference whatsoever. Oh, you know, we argue sometimes, and I want to make sure that you don't leave. I mean, I know you wouldn't leave me, since you know how much I love you. I love your hair, your lips, your everything, and I've told you. Countless times, over and over and over, that I would do anything for you, be anything for you. So, I know you wouldn't leave me. No, no you wouldn't. It would be a mistake. I am the best possible person out there for you. I know of all the things you think and dream of. No one gets you like I do. Everyone else out there is insignificant. Lesser, so to speak. And you are the only one worthy enough for me. If you ever left me for someone else, someone lesser, that would make you lesser too. And we wouldn't want that. No. That would be disappointing, really. And you don't want to disappoint me, sweetheart. But I know you. You're different. You have much more character, more sustenance. You're much more alluring, charming, and enticing than the others. With a breath and body from the heavens, a mind made of beautiful caverns. Your eyes are sparkling jewels, ones that make my heart race ever so quickly each time I peer into them. My stomach drops. And suddenly, I've fallen ten feet deep into the waters of love. Don't you feel it, too? The insane tugging of the current, beating through your heart, bringing you closer and closer to me? Wanting only me for eternity? <laughs> How perfectly we're made for each other. You've realized it, haven't you? How each time we lose each other, we always end up finding ourselves later intertwined again, seemingly pulled by fate's strings. <laughs> A coincidence, really. It must be true love, darling. We can put our pasts behind us. The people who have hurt us. Those who have wronged us and all the mistakes you may have encountered along the way. It's okay, darling. We all make mistakes. But now that we're here on this island, you won't be able to make any more mistakes. Isn't that amazing? No other girls, no other people. It's a dream come true. And now... I don't have to be so uptight about the skeletons in my closet, both figuratively and practically. But you don't need to look too deeply into my words. No, not at all. You can just look into my eyes, breathe in the fresh air, and enjoy the fact that we finally made it to our destiny, our paradise. Oh, we're gonna have so much fun here, darling. <laughs> So much fun. Mm. <laughs> hmm? No one will be looking for you, sweetie. What made you get that little idea? You should know by now. I'm a very thorough person. Even if someone was to find out and crawl their way over here, I'd make sure they wouldn't again see the light of day. They wouldn't say a word. Hear a sound. Not a thing. 
so you have nothing to worry about, darling. I've made sure that you can never leave me, no matter how hard you may try. No matter how hard your family, your friends, search for you, they cannot take you away from me. I will always be here for you, darling. Stop letting your mind wander and just focus on what's in front of you. How do we get food? Well, we have cargo planes that deliver them to us, of course. But don't get any funny ideas. The pilots are very well informed of the nature of our relationship. But I know you wouldn't let go of us. Of what we have. <sighs> Isn't this wonderful? We're surrounded by nature. There's no reception. It's just us. And I'm sure you'll love the suite. Its furnishings are a little rustic, but in a cute, natural sort of way that just makes you feel a bit more connected with nature. I've set up a table adorned with plates of fresh fruit and salads of all kinds, and some of your favorite dishes. You'll absolutely love it. Oh, I love it so much when you get so overwhelmed with happiness that you end up crying precious tears of joy. Because that's what those tears are for, right? The wonders that surround us? The beauty of our everlasting future together? The appreciation for how much I do for you. How much I love you. How intensely we feel for each other to isolate ourselves from the rest of the world. Hand in hand, side by side. I love you so, so much, darling. Mm. Let me wipe those tears. You seem to be in shock. It's all good. I didn't expect you to take this little surprise with complete ease. But you know, I don't like hurting people. Especially not when it hurts you. But you must understand. I had to do it. I had to get rid of them for your sake. I trust you, darling. I do. But I don't trust them. Those girls you talk to aren't good people. It really wasn't safe to be talking to them. Or talking to anyone other than me, for that matter. You can't trust anyone else, sweetheart. Only me. It's much safer now that we're on this island. No one can hurt you. You do understand, don't you? Why I do all of these things for you? It's because of destiny, sweetie. We're meant to be. And that's why I do everything for you. Shower you with admiration, with compliments, drown you with gifts, jealousy, safety. That's why I do everything for you. Because no matter what happens, your heart is mine. Always and forever. So, when you're ready, feel free to meet me at the suite. And we can dig into our feeds. Alright? Mm. I know it might take some time. But you'll get used to it. Nothing can get between our love for each other. Nothing. 